So um, I have just some Velveeta cheese Rotel. This is what my uh, Aunt Brenda, who went to Texas in 1980, a long, long time ago, and Aunt Brenda made Velveeta and Rotel, and I always think it's a Texas thing. I don't know if it really is, but that's what I think. Um, so she used to make it in a double boiler, and then I moved on to the microwave for making it. So now Cheese and place, sorry. Alright, so I'm gonna start with um, my cheese here, my Velveeta. I have a kind of Velveeta cheese here. We actually got this from the restaurant depot. We got a nice big five pound block of it, so it's kind of cool. Just chop it up whenever we want. Have it easy access, so I'm just gonna cut this into a few chunks here. I don't have to cut it too small because I'm sure that the blender will macerate it quite nicely. Hey, Elise! So, Elise is kicking it up now, too, with Pamper Chess. I'm really happy about that. Hi, Elise. So, she's looking to book parties, too. So, if you're a friend of Elise, reach out to her. She can do a party for you, also. So, I've got this going on. All right, so I have all my chunks here of my Velvia. So, I'm just going to take my lid off here. Add my chunks of cheese. So today we had basketball and Michael's game actually got changed to an earlier, I'm sorry, a later time than normal. So his game was at 11, so I had games at 11, 12, and 1 on Green Pond Bible Chapel. Um, great, great program. The kids have been in for, oh my gosh, I think this is their seventh year in the program. So it's pretty cool. Awesome place. Um, and this week we got to actually stay for the game. Very, very nice to actually be able to do that. I enjoyed that very much. This is the Smooth Edge can opener. A little awkward to get used to because you have to hold it on the top, not on the side like most of us are used to with can openers. A little twist back, and then you have this handy dandy right here. So I'm going to pull that off. And this is the can strainer. So I'm just going to strain my hotel here. I normally do this in the sink, but since I'm doing it over here on the bar top, I'm just going to strain this into a bowl because I don't want too much liquid, especially this liquid in it. It'll make the cheese, the nacho sauce too, too liquidy and I don't want it too liquidy. I like to have a nice thick sauce. So put that right in. And then I usually just put in a little bit of um, light cream, half and half. I happen to have heavy cream on hand today, so it's going to have a little bit of heavy cream I'm going to put in. Pour that here. Help smooth it out. All right, and that's that's it. That's everything that we have going on here. Um, I had my chef knife, of course, to cut it because I love my knife set. Love, love, love my knife set. I got it as one of my fast track rewards, and we'll continue to rave about that. Um, all right, so the deluxe cookie blender. So now I have all these wonderful settings on here. I need to bring it to the sauce setting. All right, so there's my sauce. Start. All right, so now it's starting to heat up, so I can get my sauce going. Um, start pulling. Pretty amazing. Definitely amazing. All right, so um, while this is blending, I'm gonna actually take a step closer to you guys here, so it's blending in the background. Um, for those of you that are in my parties right now, um, I wanted to just welcome you and tell you that uh, I'm happy that you're here. Good to see everybody. Um, and now you have a face behind your posts, so you know who, uh, who's making all these posts. Hey Mary, how are you? So it gets it to, what gets it to? I don't understand. I don't understand your question, Elise, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it heats, yeah, yes, yes. This is the deluxe cooking blender, it heats. Um, it cooks, you can make your sauces in it, you can make soups in it, um, you can make peanut butter in it. Um, I haven't made any omelet, but like I said, I just got this this week, so this is one of my first experiments that I have going on here. But I'm definitely pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, uh, there are all kinds of really great recipes that come with it, and um, and it has. If, if anyone did not see my video last night, it has a heated cleaning option, which is really really neat. So last night after I made my Irish cream, I rinsed it out real fast, threw in my three cups of warm water, and. Uh, about two drops of soap, put it on, put it on the heating cleaning cycle, and off it went and started cleaning. So, um, so yeah, this is heating up right now. It's melting my cheese, and 
everything's pretty cool. So that's uh, the deluxe cooking blender. Pretty, pretty awesome stuff. I love this. I absolutely love this. So it's still heating right now. So it's kind of we got some heating going on, some mixing going on. Why did you put the camera there? You can up. What? Grace, I'm sorry. I want to go scroll. <laughs> the camera was over there. Oh, Grace is trying to see the comments that have come by already. Oh, Aunt Anne's on. Hi, Aunt Anne. I missed that. Grace is scrolling back to see what I may have missed. Miss so it goes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There we go. See that bunch of people there. So um, when this is all done, I'll uh, I'll definitely post a picture with the nacho cheese sauce. I just wanted to say a quick hi to everybody and hope everyone is doing well. And any questions, as always, shoot me a message. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask everyone. If you could, I want to know, this is, this is like one of our like game foods. We have, we have what we have called game foods. Um, we a lot of times we do snack foods for like football games or um, for races, right? Tomorrow we have the races. So this is one of our game foods is our nacho cheese sauce. So if you could just comment, oh, hi Luke and Tyson. We just got a little hi to Luke and Tyson there. Um, just put in the comments, please. What is your favorite game food? What's your favorite snack food, your favorite appetizer? So, and it doesn't have to be a sauce, it could be um, pizza pockets, it could be mini hot dogs, um, anything that you like, um, that you that you think is your favorite. Oh, right I just, I know I'm right in the camera, I'm trying to find my comments there. Um, yeah, so what is your favorite? There's Luke. Whoever said hi to Luke, he's saying hi back. <laughs> So uh, yeah, what's your what's your favorite what's your favorite snack food? What do you guys have? Pigs in a blanket. That's a good one. I like that one. Definitely, that's definitely a, a good one. Um, my uncle used to have us over on Christmas Eve, and he was not much of a cook, but that was one thing that he did very well. He would actually hand roll pigs in a blanket, and he would make so many of them it would be crazy. So that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, good memories there with Uncle Bradley. So uh, any other one else? Spinach dip, spinach dip is a good one. Yeah. Oh, that, that's another thing you make in here. Artichoke spinach dip. I mean, that's that's what I actually plan on trying. Thank you, Elise, for saying that because I forgot that was one of the recipes I saw that I think sounds really cool. Turn out the same. I think so. It should. We'll see. This is an experiment. I've never done this before. Because like I said, I'm just not making this week. So, yeah. I know, but this is this way it'll just get all blended and everything. Don't have to worry about mixing it up and everything like that. And it doesn't boil over like it boils over in the microwave. Sometimes it makes a mess, of my, like a mess in my microwave. If I don't watch this when I'm making the microwave, it boils over. It makes a complete disaster. So not good, not good at all. So this way, I'm hoping it's going to be much better and much easier. All right. So anyway, take care, everybody. Have a great night. Um, God bless everyone and. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.